Well, hello guys. Uh, I just got this in the mail. This is from Ghoulie Kit. Uh, they sent me this to review. Uh, so I wanted to open this up. This is the Ghoulie Kit 7-in-1 docking station. It works with the Steam Deck, the ROG Ally, and Neo devices, Switch, Switch OLED, and um, I'm gonna guess a bunch of other uh, devices, pretty much anything that supports um, USB type C video. Oh, I just ripped that. That's fun. Let's just uh, open this up here. Oh my gosh, this is like an actual pain in the butt to open. Yeah, Ghoulie Kit, they've sent me some stuff before and uh, this seems pretty nifty. Um, I actually talked about this before um, a couple months ago when they announced this. All right, here we go. What do we got here? Now this is the actual docking station here. How does it sit? Oh, it looks like this. Yeah, that slides open. That's not, that's not too bad. And these are, do they do anything? I don't know. Well, let's, let's look at the IO on the back. We have USB-C out. We have U, uh, an AC adapter in. We have a, a three, we have three USB type A ports that USB 3.0. We have a HDMI out and we have LAN in. That USB port is very recessed in there. Do we have one in the box? Yes, we do, right here. I was gonna say, I don't know how that would work if it didn't come with like a bespoke USB cable to fit in there. And this shouldn't matter which way you go in. Oh, wow. You know what? I'm gonna say right off the bat, kinda love it. So it looks like it sh probably will go in this way because then you can fold this up and plug it in. Yeah, that will work. Because if you flip it the other way, then this is gonna face down and you'll have to torque the... I actually, you know, I love that it has uh, a removable USB uh, port uh, or cable, I should say. That's pretty nice. <laughs> I really like that actually. Um, okay, so here's now the moment of truth. I have my Steam Deck OLED here with a deckmate on the back. Will it fit with the deckmate installed? Oh my goodness. Yes, it will, but it's, it's gonna rock to one side or the other. It's not gonna be balanced. But that's okay, honestly. I, I mean, it's just nice to have a, uh, a dock that will fit the deckmate because then I don't have to take it off. Now, I do have an official docking station, but the official docking station won't fit a deckmate. All right, and the only other thing in the box here is this uh, documentation. Oh no, this is just uh, other products, Ghoulie Kit products. So this is uh, obviously meant to look like a Super Nintendo. And whoop, oh, hey, that pops off. Oh, right, I remember reading about that actually. Wait a minute, seven and one, what is it? So what are the functions here? We have, is it one, two, three, four, five? Is that six? What's the seventh function? Hmm, and it says the Steam Deck dock set here. I don't know if you can read that uh, up there, but it says Steam Deck dock set and it's using the Super Nintendo font, SD3. 03 is the the uh, model number here. Okay, so this doesn't have an M2 slot in it, does it? I'm gonna look that up real quick. Fascinating. So it doesn't say anything here. Uh, it says supports multiple consoles, well ventilated air outlets to prevent overheating, uh, supports 4K 60 hertz video output three high-speed USB 3.0 ports for various device connections, built-in gigabit ethernet, built-in four TF card slots, that's in here, but these don't have any connectivity here. These are just for storage. Compatible with most cases, which is a, which is a plus. Four adjustable angles via slidable cover to support different thickness and protective cases. Okay. Oh, so this is like, oh, I see. So this cl clicks to adjust, but what does this do? 
This doesn't even, these are literally just nothing. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this in. Yeah, it's a bit of a tight squeeze to get that around. And we have a power cable here, so I'll go ahead and pop this in. And is that charging? Nope. It's because this power is off over here. So I had to climb under my desk to plug in a standard Steam Deck charger here. And we're gonna plug this in and see if that works. No, oh yes, okay, there we go, it's working. So I, had, I wasn't using a standard Steam Deck charger uh, and that was the problem. There we go. So we have, uh, we're now plugged in and now I need an HDMI cable into my capture card. All right, and here is an HDMI cable plugged into my um, capture card. There we go, look at that. I mean, it's a USB-C dock. That's pretty cool. Uh, my question is, what is the seventh feature? It says it's a seven in one guy. It says, Ghoulie Kit, seven in one docking station. Uh, it supports the Steam Deck, RG Ally, A and Neo, Switch, and Switch OLED. But what are the seven features? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's got to be. It has to be the I/O on the back. There's one, two, three, four, and then five, right? And then it has to be six for this like SD card slot under here and seven for this adjustable uh, slider here. That's what it's gotta be. It can't, it literally, there's no other features to this. Uh, and if I'm being honest, I don't know how practical or useful having these SD cards in here, but not having them connected to your deck while they're in here. I just don't, I don't know. Maybe that's useful to somebody. I, I can't fathom how that would be useful, at least for me. So that's the Ghoulie Kit 7-in-1 docking station. I mean, it's a, it's a solid build. It feels good. I would kind of want it to be a little bit heavier, but overall it feels nice and it, and it works. As you can see, I'm, I'm capturing footage from it. Uh, let's actually launch a game and just see how that plays. I mean, it's gonna play like normal, but we're gonna do our due diligence here. Oh, wow, the, the sound is coming through the um, the sound is coming through the speakers of the Steam Deck. I wonder if that's a setting I have. Weird. I'm curious why that, why that is. All right, well, uh, that, I mean, it, it works perfectly fine. Uh, I, there are a couple things that I really like about it. Uh, the, the fact that it accommodates a deck mate um, and it accommodates a uh, uh, other cased Steam decks, that's pretty cool. It says that it works with the Switch. Now I happen to have my Nintendo Switch here. And uh, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Um, I mean, it's going to work, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be the most optimal thing, we'll take that out, set this aside and then plug. See, this is the thing is we're gonna to have to like lay this down or something because there really isn't a good way to put this in here. But, and I wouldn't wanna lay it down like that because that's just a recipe for sadness. But you can see, there we go. We have a switch here and it is, on, uh, all right, let's go over here. And we'll just do a little bit of Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Interesting, we're not getting any sound at all right now. I wonder why that is. Do I have like the sound off on this TV? 
I don't know what the problem is, but uh, anyway, this is the first time I've played Super Mario Bros. Wonder on my Switch because I hacked it uh, a couple years ago. And uh, so I've been playing Super Mario Bros. on my Steam Deck. So this is why I like have started off in the very first area here. <laughs> so yeah, lots of things to like about this. Not a whole lot of things to criticize. For the most part, it's a USB dock. Um, the, the, the things that I like about it, it has a modular uh, cable for the input and output, and that's more than the Steam Deck's official docking station has. It has a, a fixed wire, you cannot remove it. So um, that's a plus, I like that. Uh, you know, and it is compatible with, it is compatible with the Nintendo Switch. Um, as advertised, I don't have an A and Neo uh, or uh, an RG Ally because, frankly, I don't like the Ally. I thought it was kind of crap when I used it. But yeah, I do like that it, it is. Uh, it will accommodate different sized devices, and uh, I like that it has Ethernet, three USB ports. Not really uh, keen on whatever this is. This is just kind of weird. Especially since it really doesn't have any connectivity with the dock, so like, what's the point? It would be really nice if this unit had an uh, an M2 slot in it, which I, it doesn't seem like it does. Like I said, there's a couple things that I really like about this dock. I mean, uh, the fact that it has a detachable cable, uh, so unlike the official docking station, you can actually change out the cord if the cord gets damaged. That's pretty nice. Uh, it also accommodates a wide variety of devices. Uh, I mean, we've seen the Steam Deck, we've seen the Switch, and it can also do other USB Type-C video out. Uh, and has a wide variety of expansion. Um, I like this quite a bit. And I like the aesthetic too. I mean, it reminds me of the Super Nintendo, uh, which it's designed to do. Thank you, Ghoulie Kit, for sending this to me uh, for review. If you want to pick one up, there'll be a link down below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one.